So what happens when you take a power drill to your carbon fiber bicycle frame? Let's find out. Hey everybody, Nick from TriRig here. About nine years ago, I posted a video tutorial how to add water bottle bosses to the top tube of any bicycle frame. That became a really popular video, but also kind of a controversial one. On the one hand, there are people saying this is a fantastic way to customize my bike and get it to be a little bit more functional. And on the other side, there are people, you know, clutching their pearls saying, if you touch a carbon fiber frame, it might just disintegrate into dust. So who was right? Well, if I were publishing the tutorial today, it would be pretty much the same. After all, the bottle bosses you find on a bicycle frame, those are riv nuts. Your manufacturer installed them pretty much the same way as in that old tutorial. You just want to measure out where you want the bosses, plot the holes 63 millimeters apart, then drill progressively starting with a small 1 16th drill bit and going up to one quarter. You then clean the holes with a little 200 grit sandpaper and use the rivnut tool to install the M5 threaded rivets. And that's it. That's exactly how your own bike manufacturer put the bottle bosses on your bike. The only potential difference is that because they planned to put those bottle bosses on there, they might have used a carbon layup to reinforce those areas, or they might have slightly thicker walls there. But carbon fiber is pretty tough stuff, and this has turned out to be a really safe modification. You will, of course, void the warranty if you drill into a carbon frame, but in over a decade of experimenting with this practice, I have never once seen it cause problems. And generally, the same is true for top tube cable ports. I have cut out ports for several bikes where I wanted a cleaner cable path than the stock frame offered, and it's generally a pretty easy and safe proposition. Even on the ultralight frame that became my SL build, where we can expect pretty thin walls everywhere, the hole right behind the steerer tube has proved to be perfectly safe over time. So what do you think? Are you the kind of person who clutches their pearls when someone talks about modding a carbon bike? Or are you like me and you've never seen a high-end part you didn't think you could find some way to improve with a little tinkering? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.